The story of this negotiation is actually the story of the suspicion between Hamas in the Gaza Strip and Egypt. Egypt is the traditional broker in these issues because of its, its geography. Gaza sits between Israel and Egypt. They all share a border. And so Egypt always steps in to broker um, agreements here. But this is a different Egypt. This is the, the Egypt of al-Sisi, the new president, and he is at war with the Muslim Brotherhood. Hamas is an outpost of the Muslim Brotherhood, the Gaza outpost, if you like. And this suspicion has led to Hamas turning down the first ceasefire. It said it was sprung on it. It had it learnt about it from the media. There wasn't proper negotiation. It also, in the end, it was the Hamas military wing that decided the issue on the ground while talks were still ongoing yesterday in Cairo. So there is this suspicion between the two. Hamas has asked for Qatar and Turkey, two allies of the Muslim Brotherhood, to be part of the negotiations. And it is almost a standoff between the two. So will the discussions today with all those foreign leaders, including the US Secretary of State and the French Foreign Minister, will they lead anywhere at the moment? It's very hard to say. There has to be some kind of common ground found between Egypt and Hamas, I think, for this to go forward.